This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Susan Faulkner Evans on Bo and Trudy Adams on Miss Annie. Good. Keep that push from behind. Get him to step into your rain. That's it. Now you feel he's trying to avoid your connection in the front just a little bit, right? So get him to step up with the activity from behind so he takes a feel of your rain. That's it. And then praise him. And to do that, remember, you're going to soften the jaw, soften the pole, check to see that he's got the rainbow. He's going to say he can't do it. And then ask him to go forward into that balance. And you can switch to the outside rain when you feel like it. Soften his, check his jaw, see if it's soft, check his pole, check his neck, see if he's responding to your outside leg and rain. Good, good, keep, very good. Keep the activity. He's going to bobble at first. That's all right. Doesn't matter as long as he keeps his back end active right now. Good. Yes, you felt where he dropped you right there. Good. That's it. Keep more active than he thinks he can. Good. So we're working on both staying more active. He's going to be competing in second level this year. That's it. Get him to stay on the bit. Good, good. Get him. Yep, that's where you get him active. He's going to say he can't do it. Good, and remember to praise him. That's it. Okay, now you're going to play with that same push at the trot. Do your collected, medium, and lengthening, keeping that same push. And you take your time warming her up, Trudy, all right? We have plenty of time. Good, keep the activity. Now you'll notice when you collect him or you do any of the shorter stuff, you actually have to get him to sit down more. So he's got to sit down and keep that push. He's going to say he can't do it. It's so hard. That's it. Keep him active behind. Good, good. Look at him lift his shoulders. So he's trying to figure it out. You can see he lifted his shoulders, but he wasn't quite sure what to do with the rest of his body. That's it. Get him more active. Have him sit down. That's right. Collect the trot so it's almost like a western jog. And see how big you can get him. Good. Praise him. That's right, keep them active, and we're going to just see how big we can get them at a collected kind of trot. Collect them and get them as big as you can. Bigger, more activity, bigger, more activity. That's all right. Yep, he's not used to it yet. Good, more activity, soften his jaw, soften his pole, everything at one time, right? Good, good, good. There, feel him getting bigger? Now keep this as you do your medium. Good. Feel the difference? He's starting to fall here, so go back to collect a trot when he falls. That's right. Soften his jaw, soften his pole, get him to sit down because now you're feeling him sit down. Praise him. And then you can go forward again. So it's like the rubber band exercise. I like how you're adding the lateral to it. That's it. Soften his jaw, soften his pole. He's got to stay uphill. Good. That's it. Get him more active behind. You feel him getting bigger in the front? And then sometimes he'll get just a little quick, but that's what they do at first. That's it. Good. That's it. Sit down a little bit more. He's tracking up nicely. And then you do something lateral, out of the lateral you'll go to a medium and into a little bit of lengthening. He might only be able to do like eight steps of lengthening at first. What do you think, Miss Annie? Oh, attention to everywhere else. Well, that's all right, because we wanted to make sure she was... Good, good, keep him up, keep him up. Soften his jaw, soften... There you go, soften his jaw, soften his pole, praise him. Get him on the inside, hiding for your corner. Pick him up, sit, 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 sit. I mean, he needs to sit. Good. Think he's got to sit more. Everything's uphill now. Good. So now you're going to find that fine balance between first level and second level where he's always up in his shoulder. That was good. Take a break. Good boy, Bo. <laughs>